what is science truly mary curie said science is measurement measurement is science if that were so you can't think can you think can you measure your thinking no no so unscientific thinking is unscientific you love your boyfriend or a girlfriend can do you can you measure love unscientific so what can cannot be measured is unscientific so science dies a natural death when measurement this world cannot be measured by science that's why we only know 5% of the world nuclear energy gravitational energy and electromagnetic energy because they can be measured 95% of the occult energy cannot be measured but that's the most powerful energy i will very soon tell you what you can do with occult energy we'll come back to that so it became a science overnight and by the wrong route and this science has no meaning so they refined the diagnosis science they came changed john von neumann a hungarian chemist hungarian born ethnic chemist american nobel laureate who said i quote science is making models mark my words science is making models comma which are mathematical constructs semicolon which with verbal jargon are supposed to work full stop okay keep the definition now modern medicine so called scientific medicine we say has a scientific base of linear mathematics or reductionist science which is not a holistic science now human body is not linear at all it's a dynamic holistic system now if you measure the human body linearly what will happen i'll give you an example when you go to a cardiologist he will check you and say oh your ejection fraction is only 40% so you are worried that fear kills you mind you you will soon die but what is he right what is he doing he is using a linear mathematical model science is making models right mathematical model what's the really mathematical model what is the amount of blood pumped out with each each contraction of the heart okay that's called ejection fraction so he is using this linear measurement into a non linear structure heart linear mathematics is euclidean so euclidean mathematics works on euclidean structures only it must be either a square globe triangle square or a block heart is neither of these none of these heart cannot be heart actually is a non linear structure which requires a different mathematical model which we can't understand that's called non linear mathematics which in the west is called mandelbrot's mathematics and in the east is called vedic mathematics very difficult very very difficult mandelbrot alone understood it and that's how mandelbrot constructed the computers on the basis of binary numbers so non linear mathematics is used in linear mathematics used in non linear structure so the ejection fraction is absolutely wrong sometimes we get patients with an ejection fraction of 25 he has gone to ayappa temple three times you know where it is it's almost like the himalayas i simply believe in what the patient says i ask him can you go up to the first floor without any trouble yes. second floor trouble third floor yes then your ejection fraction is probably more than normal the here is a patient with an ejection fraction of 40% from the doctor he can't go to the toilet without having chest pain and breathlessness that is because we are marrying linear mathematics to a non linear structure this is not only an intercaste marriage it's now a marriage which is, has to be divorced very soon the quick sooner the we do the better so ladies and gentlemen i have told you if not enough enough to say that the western scientific base of medicine is all wrong i have been saying this for a long time i am very happy last year the chairman of the nice nice is the biggest organization in england that is the nice is the organization which controls clinical excellence national institute of clinical excellence rollins michael rollins sir michael rollins is the president and sir Roll rollins was giving a talk at the royal college what's called the the appointed lectures the named lectures and he said i quote unfortunately we have been giving rcts and keeping them at a high pedestal saying that there is scientific thing is not deserved rcts do not deserve to be the pedestal at which they are kept which means all our studies which you and i believe in practice also are not true 
Is it clear now?